Oh my god. Holy shamoles. I've done it. Flipping cracked it. Ugh, yes. Um, what is it? Well, let's see. What you're looking at now is a Swift application that's got PHP 8.3 compiled for iOS bundled into it and it's running on my actual phone which is being displayed on the right blah 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 there's a whole bunch of things here that aren't going to work right because you know it's on my phone and it's all very early days but whatever what are we doing this is a swift ui view here and then we're trying to run some php code and that function loads just one file at the moment this file you can see this file is empty so there's not going to nothing's going to happen so let's make it do something right let's just do something really basic because it doesn't have like hot reloading and that kind of stuff we're just gonna have to restart blah 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 all the stuff that I don't understand there you go same app text coming from PHP <sighs> that's it we've just broken the universe or something the world is going to implode when they realize that you can write mobile applications with PHP but screw those guys because we're going to do this, because PHP is an awesome language, and I love using it. <laughs> ah. Now, if you're excited about that, you should, one, check out my talk at the upcoming Laracon EU, which is happening at the beginning of February. So look out for that in the coming weeks. And secondly, if you think that this is in any way exciting, I really, really want to continue working on this and making it great, making it work with frameworks like Laravel and allowing people to build really cool apps with the ease of PHP. And I think that that's entirely possible. There are two challenges. One is time. If you can possibly do it, please sponsor this project. There are a few ways of doing it, but primarily if you go to github.com forward slash sponsors forward slash Simon Hamp, you can donate there. The other challenge that we're going to have is if Apple will let us deploy these apps through an app store. And honestly, I don't know the answer to that question yet. And we may not find the answer to that for a while, but we can try. We can only try and get this to work and run through their crazy, crazy process. If we succeed, yippee for us. So that might be a battle that we're going to have to fight and I hope that you'll join me in fighting that. Until then, I'm going to be sharing more about this over the coming weeks on Twitter and Blue Sky, where, yeah, I'm basically going to be making PHP great again in 2025. Let's go.